Hey everybody, welcome to a very, very special edition of Eating Good in the Woods. This one I'm calling Eating Good in the Woods, The Lost Footage. So the other day, I'm sitting out here watching old episodes of Golden Girls, R.I.P. Betty White, when I hear a hollering from the back room, and there goes Rodney going off on me saying, hey, come here quick, come here quick. So I set up right in the middle of B. Arthur and off I went. Got in the computer room where me and Rodney do all our editing and whatnot, and he's pointing at the computer saying, look at this, look at this. I don't know what it is, so I take a closer look. Rodney found some old footage of a video that we never finished. It is chai tea latte bread pudding, and as memory serves me, it was absolutely delicious. So I started in, and I got a closer look at it, and sure enough, there's all the footage. Well, at first I was surprised, and then I was delighted, and then I said to Rodney, we should edit this. So here it is. From 2016, eating good in the woods, lost footage. Y'all stick around. I'm going to show you how. Before we go any further, I'd like to remind you guys, please don't forget to mash that subscribe button, give me a big old thumbs up, maybe even leave me a comment or two, I sure would appreciate it. For this year recipe, you're going to need 8 eggs, a cup of sugar, 2 cups of milk, some of this. So I'm going to stop it right there. What you're looking at is actually fruitcake mix. Now, if memory serves me, I filmed this sometime around mid-November. So all this stuff was in the grocery store. It was just a basic fruitcake mix. It had dried pineapple, dried cherries. It had some nuts. It had raisins. It had some black currants. You know, all the stuff that goes into a nice fruitcake. So that's what that cup of stuff is right there. A loaf of crusty bread and about six to eight bags of chai tea. We're going to start with a medium saucepan and put in two cups of cold milk and our six to eight chai tea bags. And we're going to slowly bring that up to a simmer. Now we're going to take this loaf of sliced bread, cut it in half lengthwise, and then again to quarter it. Should make for a nice chunky bread pudding. Once the tea bags have started to steep just a little bit and the milk has turned brownish, we're going to set it off to the back of the stove to get cooled down to room temperature. I've lined my 12 inch Dutch oven with some parchment paper. I'm going to put that bread in there and that cup of fruitcake mix and mix it around really, really well. Now we're going to beat eight eggs. Going to beat them like they owe us money. <laughs> Isn't that right, Rodney? <laughs> Once they're well beaten, we're going to add a cup of sugar. And continue beating them. We want to make sure that sugar is well incorporated into that egg mixture. Then we're going to take our milk mixture and slowly fold it in there while whisking it. Just be careful. Don't whisk it too much because you don't want those eggs to get all fluffy. And make sure this is at room temperature because you don't want to cook them eggs either. Keep whipping it like it owes you money. Then we're going to pour it all over our bread. And make sure that all of that bread gets a good soaking of that egg and milk mixture. Say that reminds me. If y'all are looking for a way to support this channel, keep this here train a rolling full of 
farm fresh content twice a week, why don't you slide over to my Teespring shop, get yourself a coffee mug or maybe even a t-shirt. But if you don't want to do that, how about you go to buymeacoffee.com and for the price of a cup of coffee, you help keep this train a rolling. You can also visit boondockerswelcome.com. All of the links are in the description. Thanks a bunch. Now we're going to take it out to the back porch. The formula for a 12 inch Dutch oven is 12 times 2, which is 24, which means we're going to put 8 coals on the bottom and the remaining 16 on top. That should give us in and around 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. Make sure those coals are distributed evenly, otherwise you may wind up with a hot spot. Here's what it looks like at about 35 minutes, and it's time to refresh the coals. After another 45 minutes, it's ready to go. Look at that. Play this in slow motion for you. Now I'm gonna stop it right there, and I'll tell you why. I put this liqueur from Jamaica, Mexico, somewhere in the Caribbean called rum chata, which is essentially a cream with rum and some spices and whoo, it was hardly fit to eat it was. And I put that on top of, look, if you just want to put some whipped cream or just some plain whipping cream or something like that, you go right ahead. Whoo, that's going to be hardly fit to eat. Ain't that pretty? Look at there. delicious well that's it y'all eating good in the woods lost footage i hope you enjoyed that i hope you enjoyed that as much as i did reliving that whole time period you know i gave up on my youtube channel from 2016 way too early i just didn't know that much about youtube but now i do so some of you may remember it from back in the day some of you may be brand new to this either way i sure enough appreciate it it was absolutely delicious, and I encourage you to go ahead and try this. So, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I sure love y'all. I hope that God is blessing you. You go out there and be nice to one another. Bye-bye.